All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Slime Isekai Memories video. So today we're doing a uh, a tier list. Um, it is the end of the month, and I've been meaning to do one for a while, but I never did. Um, but here we are um, doing a tier list. I have one for the just regular battle units, protection units, and then the free to play units. And we're gonna get into the new ones for um, for the month of July. Except I'm not gonna cover the new Shizue because I feel like I haven't had enough time with her yet. Um, but yeah, I haven't done a tier list in a long time, so I had to like remake this from scratch. And if you, that's why if you guys like see my old one and you see this one, my things might be different. It's been a while, so I'm just gonna really quickly explain um, before. I say anything though, one, this is just my opinion. Um, if you disagree or you agree or anything, then feel free to let me know, let me know in the comments below. And second, um, if you're new around here or um, if you just enjoy slime content and you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below. We are trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, hopefully if we can if we can make it. Um, but yeah, let's just let's just get right right into it so f tier obviously garbage um just you don't use them at all um i like i just have personally i don't need i literally don't even i don't think i have dag rule um but like i never use them the only use that these demon lords have at the moment is um the 10 percent for an event when i don't ha when you don't have all the characters especially the new ones with the forces stuff you just slap them on um d tier is like still terrible but like maybe in like very niche scenarios you could use them maybe i guess um you'll see that like i have this diablo here i i don't like him um i know i summoned for him and i have him level 88 but i have never used him after that i just he sucks in my opinion um i just think he sucks c tier is like eh meh you know like they can work okay um they do have their 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 times but i think overall like a lot of them are just old um like i think one of the more controversial ones maybe the ramorous um the alice or this dark millum uh maybe this rimuru and this rimuru and then uh maybe like earth benny i guess um, but aside from that, I think we can all agree that the rest of them are pretty bad. Um, like, you either only use them for their, like, support skill, like this Earth Millum, for example, or you don't use them, or use them as just, like, support to give extra stats, because you probably have them level 100, right? Um, so yeah, C tier is just like, meh, like, meh, meh, you know, um, I do, I think this Alice maybe could be moved up, um, but my Alice is pretty weak, so, you know. Next is B tier. Um, they are decent. They do have their uses. Um, they do have, like, certain pieces of utility um, that make them pretty, like, decent. They're not, like, amazing or crazy or anything. Um, but they either provide something decent to the team or something unique. Or they do, like, decent damage but not something, like, super crazy, right? Um, I think maybe like this Millum, uh, could be a bit controversial and maybe these two, I don't have them, but from her, I think they're okay-ish. Um, so that's why I have them here. They could be moved down to C, I guess. Um, and like, I have someone like Trainee and, so, and like some characters that have like a lot of healing, for example, or like solely just support, but have a lot of support. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I designate the B, B tier. A tier is like, okay, like these are like good units, um, better than all of these down here, um, but they're not like at that level, you know what I mean? Like they're good units, they they do good damage, they bring good utility, um, they have good skills, um, maybe they have a like a pretty decent trait, um, they're like really good on their team or like they're all, maybe the only good unit on their team, I don't know, um, but they're not like super amazing if you know what i mean um i think maybe a controversial one could be this millum i could move her down honestly um i still think she's just like my win team is really i think the win team overall is just really weak 
Um, we haven't gotten a. I th I'd probably say the the best wind protector is still Feldora, if I'm being honest. Um, or I guess like the 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 Diablo, who makes everyone super effective against water. Um, but like a solely specific wind protector i think the wind team overall just sucks the most at it as an element um but yeah i i don't know i think that's the most controversial one um maybe this rain i think she's pretty decent she can help really well on um a lot of like bursty teams and also for green orbs um but i could see her in, in b tier next is s tier these characters are are good they do a lot of damage they bring really good utility but they're not at the tippity top you know what i mean they're like almost there they're like really really complete full units but like there's like a, a difference between them and then like the top top tippity top you know what i mean like they're so good you still use them a lot um but maybe they have like a certain restriction or maybe one of their skills sucks or something or like they only work on like maybe a specific team um, wait why don't why do i have her down here um so yeah and lastly we have triple s these characters are the best of the best um they either do insane damage they bring insane util um or they're just they just like work on a lot of teams or like their skill is like really amazing um i can explain like the most recent ones i guess um well what was the last one last month was light meta i think right uh Hold on, let me check yes light meta um so uh i think we can all agree that the shuna is just stupid um the fact that her skill makes any as long as you have three orbs of hers any other three orbs it literally does not matter you can just make a six hand um or even if you're struggling with that you can still make a majority hand of her orbs um she has a pretty nice um two turn lasting buff for herself and she has a pretty hard hitting ult so i think the shuna is, is really really good soka um i think is also really good i'm pretty sure she guarantees your next hand to be green um yeah she just gives you a free green hand on the next turn and then she um buffs your ally's attack uh, like infinite, uh, I guess no for one turn, but she she'll give you a twenty five percent buff. But it's mainly this that I think she's just really good because she just guarantees you a, a, a green hand for free. Um, and then, like I said, rain I think is decent. Um, she has decent support. Uh, she can do good damage I think. Um, but she's not on the same level as some like Soka or even the Shuna. Um, I think like characters like Guy and this Milum and Violet. Oh wait, this is the wrong Violet. Okay, no, this was right. Okay, uh, sorry, that's that's my bad. Um, but guy, this Milum, Hinata, this Shion, this Violet, the two Milums, he, this other Hinata, and the hero, obviously. Um, I think it's pretty obvious that these characters are like the cream of the crop. They're like the best DPS units. Um, guy has an insane orb change, and he's an ult, and his ult gives like 100% crit rate, so you don't even need to run someone to give crit chance. The hero is the hero, obviously. Hinata still does good damage. Um, the Milum still do good damage. They have orb changes. Um, Violet is like the number one fire DPS still. This Xion still does good damage. And Hinata is like the best win unit, I think, in general. Um, so yeah, this is what I have so far. Um, let me know down below if you think I should move someone up or down. Um, I'm definitely willing to listen to you guys' feedback. Considering there's some units I just do not have, um, I kind of base it on my own judgment from what I see um, and what I think, but, you know, uh, compared to, like, whales and stuff like that, I'm not going to have the same level of experience. Um, but, like I said, <laughs> just my opinion. So finally, we can get into these units, the new ones. K uh, Megumin, Aqua, and Kazuma. So, I'm just going to take Megumin, and I think it's pretty obvious. I'm just going to drag her all the way up here. I think she is a triple S unit. Um, even though her ult makes her just shut down for a turn, she does an insane 
insane amount of damage. She's literally just the magic version of Guy. Um, except slightly different, she'll get changed to orange orbs and one green rather than two green, one orange. Um, but they complement each other pretty well, I think. Um, and she just has this. She just buffs her own magic attack and then increases um, ult damage by, I think, what, 80% it goes up to? So she also does 765%. She, her ult is 510, so she does 20% more. And then the 1.5 times is 30% more. So overall, she just does an insane amount of damage and i really like her um even though the the magic like cooldown for one turn can be a little annoying i think sometimes i think if you misplay then you can get stuck on that and then you might die because you can't like it doesn't fully one shot um but with the stacking team she just does a lot of damage and even without it i think she still does a lot of damage um so that's why i put her in triple s tier Next we have Aqua. I'm gonna put her in S. Um, where is she? So Aqua, she gives Pierce Rate and Pierce Power, and then she buffs the ult gauge of um, an ally by 30 with the highest attack by 30%, and then decreases Pierce Resistance by 5%. Um, she can do pretty decent damage too with her single target ult. Pretty good support. Um, I think she is an S. I could see her as an A because her skills are a little bit expensive and like alt gauge can be good but also sometimes it's not worth the amount of points that you're putting into it. Um, but I think she's S um, overall uh, from my usage of her. And then Kazuma, I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking of putting him in A honestly but I think I will also put him in S because they're fundamentally the same. Um, oh, did I mean to drag him out? Um, he does decrease defense and increase allies attack. And then he has an orb change. So he complements Megumin a little bit better, I think. Um, just for the orb changing. Um, and he gives everyone like the buff and then decreases defense. So they're fundamentally the same. I'd say they're both S tier, but I could also see arguments for them being a tier i don't think they're triple s um i think for a support unit to be triple s they would actually have to just do everything for the team um which is really really hard to do and i don't think they even really want that so i can i'm gonna put them in s for now um but i can also see them being in like high a tier um i don't think they're like as like on the same level as someone like this Wind Millum. Um, I think they're like above that by quite a bit. Um, but like I said, sometimes their skills can be a bit expensive. You're not going to make use of them all the time. Um, and they're, they're not like super tanky or anything like that either. So sometimes they can just die. But yeah, this is where I would just put them overall a really good release for the, for the collaboration in my opinion. Um, they, they're just knocked it out of the park, I think, with these units, with Megumin, uh, Aqua, and Kazuma. <sighs> okay, so this is my battle units, um, and, yep, just screenshot that, just capture it in your mind. This is the battle units, because next, we're gonna move into the protection units. Um, this is my tier list for them, uh... D tier, they're terrible. C tier, uh, actually, I'm gonna move. Uh, I'm sorry, I have to. C tier is like meh. Um, I might. <sighs> He's like teetering between the two. I think Benny Maru is like in between. I think he's also maybe in between. Um, B tier is like yeah, decent. They can work. A tier is like good, good units. I okay. I really didn't know how to compare all of them together. So I just put stacking, but I think for the most part, uh, I would maybe say she's like A, B, and these guys are just like S, A, A, S. Um, I, if, if, for me, in my brain, it's hard for me to differentiate them into different categories because they're literally all the same. Um, they buff skill point increase up to 500% of a certain type of orb 
green or blue, um, they stack attack by 10% of either a specific attribute or specific force, and they increase skill points limit by 40 until the end of the battle up to a max of 999. Except for this Shuna who stacks stun power and pierce power, but s sun strike and pierce power, but it's the same concept, right? Um, so I kind of just have this. I think this is kind of fitting. Um, maybe I could put her like here, I guess, like B. Um, maybe A. I don't know. I think she's just like a B. But um, yeah, I just have to put stacking in their own category in between these two because they can be good, but also short battles, they just really suck. Or like, they're, it's, it's you don't get as much value, right? Obviously. Um, but in longer fights, like you will get a lot of value because you'll do a lot of damage. Um, and then S tier, obviously, I don't think we need to explain it, but I'll just quickly explain it. Um, Gabiru, I think he sucks. Benimaru is in between. Um, I can see him being B, uh, but I think overall he's kind of a C character. Um, these two are just kind of eh. Uh, Mulan, I think, is okay. Um, we go to Mulan. Oh, that's Tria. If we go to Mulan, I think she's a bit wonky though. Um, but I think she she can be she can be okay. Um, I could I could see an argument for her to be in, in B, uh, but I think she's just solid enough to be an A, maybe low A. Um, just kind of mixed in with these guys. Stacking I think just works in between. Um, and then she's way still really good. This Veldora can be really good. Toa is, I think, crazy still. Just a better Hakuro. He is also stacking. I will give him that. Um, but he stacks ult damage. And to me, he just feels really good. Um, I don't even have him. But from what I've seen, um, I think he's just really good. I could just put him here too, honestly. Um, it's literally the same thing, I think. Uh, yes. Uh, skill cost by thirty, but it's yeah, it's all the same. Um, overall, I, I guess I'll just put him here, but I think it's going here, here, and then Frey is just cracked. Um, Frey is just really good, I think. Uh, just like uh, it's like a mix of Hawk. It's like a Hakuro Toa, but um green orbs and also gives crit rate so yeah that is all the units so far um i'm not gonna rank these guys um but if i were to uh i would just say d d d d d they they all just suck the free-to-play protection units are just not worth it um i mean they're fun to farm i guess they're cool i guess different outfits but they're they just they don't do anything um, they're like the watered down versions, but they're really watered down for some reason. So you're not like, I think if you're to challenge the beatdown battle, you literally can't clear the higher stage unless you find some workaround with it. But, um, yeah, I, I think that it is just not worth it even like discussing them. Um, but we are here to talk about this Rimuru. I would just... <laughs> obviously, I'm going to put him in the stacking. But I think based on like his forces, his force and stuff like that that he leads, um, I think he would also be an S tier with these three, like the newer ones. Um, but I will just put him in the stacking category. Uh, he is literally just a carbon or copy paste of this character, this character, this character, this character. So... Yeah, nothing too crazy, but I still think he's good. His skill looks cool. He leads a pretty crazy team. I mean, they literally just got four or three pretty three really good units and then maybe one pretty decent unit as well. So yeah, I think this is the tier list for protection units. We're not even gonna talk about them. And finally, we will move into <coughs> The free to play units. You can see I put them <laughs> down here. I put Aaron maybe up here, like eh, maybe she can be okay. But yeah, um these all pretty much suck. These all pretty much suck as well. But maybe you'll get some use maybe you'll get one or two uses out of them for like ju a Jubilee stage or something for their orb change, and that's it. 
these guys are okay you can use them occasionally um, they can work but they're not gonna be like go-to options a tiers they're they're pretty good um, actually I would move you up here I think they're like they're pretty good they still work um, they're not again like the go-to's but you know they have their uses they have their util damage whatever you want to say um, they're like decent they're better than everything else done here S obviously the best um, this Rimuru is still really good for for um, blue teams this geld can also be for good team for good for blue teams Isis is still really good um, this Xion does a lot of damage and also helps with um, the warrior's mind force I think um, and she is an orb changer and she does a lot of damage and then this Tria in my opinion is um, where are you where are you I think she's also really good because of this she has the green version of the um, the the Rimuru skill um, unfortunate that she buffs secret skill gauge instead of like giving them an extra gauge increase buff but that's fine and then she also has um, a green a special green orb change um, with an AoE ult so I think this trio is really good for for green teams um, if you ever are in a situation where you need to run someone like that like the dark 2.0 team I think she could work well on there um, so yeah overall I think she's pretty good and darkness as a new free-to-play character free to play battle character I'm gonna put her in S tier um, I think if you can slap on a fully awakened health equipment with her already um, six star fully maxed out sword and the armor um, she is going to be really really good um, really quickly she is a special orb changer and then she does a self taunt for two turns and then increases her own defense uh, for by 30% for two turns she has a defense um, I think she's a defense style EX board um, but yeah she's just a big tank my only if or gripe with her is her miss um, ability I guess whatever you want to call it it's actually kind of annoying <laughs> like yeah she doesn't do much damage um, and I get it they were trying to be cheeky with it uh, but it's kind of annoying when you're just doing a stage and you see her go in it's like oh maybe she'll do a little bit of damage and she just misses like three times in a row and you're like okay well thanks like what was the point of even using her orbs right other than the, the points and stuff but I mean she's still a really good tank she can be really tanky plus the self taunt so she just eats up all the damage um, yeah I think she's really really good she does not belong in any of the other categories um, I think she just solely belongs in the S spot along with these other um, free to play units so yeah um, how long have you been like 20 ish minutes um, I kind of sped through it but um, overall I'd say that um, I think my tier list is pretty decent um, I'm sure there are a few changes here and there that can be made but overall I'd, I'd say um, yeah it's decent and then these new units uh, are placed in the correct spots again if you have any other opinions feel free to let me know down below I would definitely love to hear your definitely love to hear your feedback um, it's unfortunate I feel sad that this boy is down here he does a lot of damage um, especially like juicing him up but I wish his skills were a little bit better, you know, instead of like the the um, blue alt thing or like instead of maybe the secret skill gauge, they could have given him like a crazy like self buff so that he just like boosts his own crit damage by like 50% and then like attack by like 50% as well or something just so he just nukes everything off the map or even maybe like 25% or something like that will just help a lot but unfortunately they kind of gave him a janky skill set which makes me really sad because he's so cool I love him so much um, but yeah uh, that's pretty much it we've been going on for like 25 minutes now 
Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this helps you kind of understand where maybe some characters are if you're unsure about how good they are. Um, and like if you want to have like a discussion or something. Um, but yeah, these are just my thoughts on the best char or the characters currently at the state of the game. Um, honestly, not much has really changed. Uh, I, I would say it's pretty clear. It's not like Dragon Ball Legends or something. This is the first game that popped in my mind where like the tier list is constantly shifting. I think these are all pretty, um, pretty standard uh, rankings, honestly. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.